despite authoritarian measures taken by Pakistan's military-backed regime. Former Prime Minister Imran Khan's Supreme Court appearance via video link from his jail cell was leaked on the internet. The close to 16-minute audio of Imran Khan's arguments in the National Accountability Bureau amendments case instantly went viral on various social media platforms, with users expressing joy at hearing Imran Khan's voice for the first time since his illegal incarceration 312 days ago. Imran Khan in the arguments emphasized the need for the rule of law and holding the powerful accountable for corruption. Pakistan's de facto military rulers are continuing to target the families of overseas Pakistanis critical of the regime's human rights violations. After the abduction of Imran Khan's social media lead Azhar Mashwani's brothers and the abduction of the brother of PTI leader Dr. Shahbaz Gill, the regime is now allegedly harassing Vijahat Saeed Khan's family. Vijahat is a New York-based Pakistani-American journalist who has reported extensively on the military regime. In a tweet, Vijahat Saeed revealed that military authorities in Pakistan were going to abduct his brother-in-law as a consequence of his reporting. As many as 4.5 million individuals are unemployed in the country, with the youth aged 15 to 24 having the highest unemployment rate of 11.1%, according to the Pakistan Economic Survey 2023-2024 released on Tuesday. Analysts said the numbers are significantly higher than mentioned in the survey as numbers are based on 2021 data. After the overthrowing of Imran Khan's government in a soft coup, no labor force survey has been completed. Pakistan has one of the youngest populations that has been trying to mass migrate since the coup. Israeli authorities are responsible for war crimes and crimes against humanity in Gaza, UN Independent Commission of Inquiry finds. The use of the term crimes against humanity, as in the report against Israel, is usually reserved for the most serious international crimes knowingly committed as part of a widespread or systematic attack against civilians. The findings, based on interviews with victims and witnesses, submissions, satellite imagery, medical reports, and verified open source information were welcomed by rights groups. The report on Israel's actions says it committed acts including forced starvation, murder or willful killing, collective punishment and intentional attacks on civilians. It takes notes of a widespread or systematic attack directed against the civilian population in Gaza by the Israeli military.